Okay, so the, the thing going on right now is it's beche de mer season. Beche de mer are sea cucumbers. They're hunting the sea cucumber right now. It's open for another week. So I think they're pretty like full tilt. Like they're diving for them everywhere around here. So they're actually actively hunting these damn things. Whoa. Is this one very good? Yes. High grade? Yes, high grade. Holy smokes, yes. there's that many sure different kinds. Yes. They eat it, but... Yes, they export it to Singapore, Malaysia. Malaysia and Singapore. Yes. But how do you think they prepare it? We had no idea that it was sea cucumber season when we first arrived in Papua New Guinea. And as we sailed through the Lusiades, we would find stacks of these things drying in the sun all over the place. It's a major source of revenue for the islanders. They make about 300 bucks, 300 US dollars. The buyers will start to show up in the last days of the season, which lasts around three months. Each buyer will have different prices for the many different types of sea cucumber. This one is white teeth, and this one prickly, green fish, stone fish. Tiger and, and lolly uh, smooth. This elephant trunk and this ember. They have different prices. They have different, all of them have different prices. They're all weighed and then tallied and shipped off to either Malaysia, Singapore, China. There are two major sources of revenue for the residents of the Lusiades sea cucumber and shark finning. Almost all the men take part in gathering these sea cucumbers. The only requirement is a set of goggles and fins, which, believe it or not, is a luxury out here. Is this a kilo for the white tooth? Some other companies, they buy it at uh, 250 kilos yeah. per kilo. And some other companies, they buy it at 220 okay. per kilo. For the good one. Which is the worst one? The worst one is this one, the and elephant? this one, elephant trunk and uh, lolly. Lolly? Yeah, lolly. Have you tried it? Have you tasted it? No, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> kind of gross right now. Oh, they, yeah. They're smart in those restaurants. Yeah. They, the restaurants yes. take it. What they say is more expensive than this other protein. Well, maybe when we Very get there, delicious. we'll try it. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. This is Ben's stance lately. He sits there and he studies the flies. How many flies you killed today? There's a lot of flies in Papua New Guinea. How's the battle going on? We like killed probably 300 flies today. I am not joking. I was up to 80 and I stopped counting. We're moving anchorages late in the day just because we can't handle the flies anymore. Oh man, this is so gross. Check this out. World War II plane? Yeah. That one was a single engine plane, I think. Where's the rest? I think it's been uh, removed by uh, the locals here. On the land here. What? It was shot on the land here. Oh, on the land, wow. It is uh, Japanese Zero. These are big blades, hey? Oh, yeah. Heavy. Crazy. Yeah. How many Japanese Zero planes here? Two or more? No, we've got two here. Yeah. Was there um, an airport here? I think the Japanese were based on uh, the island here. This little island? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, so the Japanese were here? Yeah. Until the Americans came. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> you could see uh, bomb craters and all this on the island. But oh, there's craters on the island? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> from, the ja from the Americans? Yeah. Wow. When we were in Vanuatu, it was all American because the Japanese never made it that far. Mm. And now we've gone far enough north where it's 
mostly Japanese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're crossing the, the boundary. Yeah. Must have been hard living here that time. Oh, yeah. When the World War II came here, yeah. the fa their fathers and mothers had to get into the bushes, hide them out from the caves. You know. Because, because the Japanese come and want everything. Yeah. 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 Wow. It's not a nice time. No. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Very strong stuff though, hey? It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's still this is, around. I don't, is this metal? Is yeah. This is metal, hey? Aluminum, maybe? I think it's uh, aluminum. Yeah. Uh, aluminum. Solid aluminum, yeah. It's very thick and heavy, yeah. Huh. Oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh geez. Okay. So it's not working. Yeah. It runs, but no electricity. No. Yeah. Okay. This is our second project of the day. <laughs> First one was solar and this one is fixing this little generator that doesn't produce electricity. So we'll see. So you connect this to where? Inside. Inside? Okay. You take this off, this is a big problem. Well, the spring pops out. Well, the spring pops yeah. out. What you doing, Ben? Um, we're fixing the recoil on an outboard. I started it today. Yeah. It was tight to uh, roll okay. back again. Okay. I think it should be. Where are you guys off to? Oh, we just had a problem with this, so. Came out for a visit? Came out for help. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> And just like that, right Ben? This is the last anchorage we're gonna be at in the Pacific. And we just pulled up anchor, so goodbye. I guess this is goodbye Pacific. Goodbye! This has been an absolutely fantastic end to our Pacific um, crossing. The Louisiades group has not disappointed. I highly recommend a cruise here if you ever manage to get a boat and get here because there's... Or, or Papua New Guinea in general, like it's awesome Papua New Guinea. I don't know why people don't come here. There's some ports you want to avoid but the outer islands are just spectacular. Yeah, it's, it's out of this world spectacular. The reefs are alive, the fish are plentiful, the lobsters are around, and the people are absolutely beautifully fantastic. So we're gonna miss you again. We always miss every time we leave. I always miss the people that we've met. We're heading to the Indian Ocean. We'll see you there. Goodbye Pacific. Goodbye Pacific. Buzzed by helicopter. That's a big helicopter. It looks pretty serious. Are they coming back? I don't know if Papua New Guinea has helicopters. <laughs> it's probably Australian Dude, or it's, American, it's, maybe. It's military, though. Yeah. It, it's it's like a proper military helicopter. It had like bombs on it, probably. Maybe not. I don't know. It bombs. Things, <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, it's been an interesting passage. It seems there's a lot of um, security activity, like Navy ships and stuff. Uh, because the APEC meeting is happening in Port Moresby, I think it's this week. All the very important people should be there. The sun's just about to come up. 5.30 in the morning. Why not just start doing yoga now? The sun's about to come up and it's just so nice doing it this time of day. It's super, super cool and really relaxing. And uh, it's good to get a good stretch in when the boat's moving around like this and you're kind of like oh, holding on to everything. I was just putting my yoga mat out and I found this little guy. So let's check him out, poor little guy. I'm pointing out the fish, not the Cheerio. <laughs> Cheerio must have been Ben's breakfast fish. 
Must have been trying to be someone else's breakfast. Such is passage life. Hopefully we'll be able to make it in before dark. If not, we'll probably slow down if we make the call midday and basically drift in if we, uh, if we can't, so we don't arrive in the dark. Kind of hoping to make it in tonight though. It's nice to get a sleep in a calm place, but it's also fine to be out here just one more night. All right, well, that's it from me. Oh, my hair is bad. I'll fix that and then we'll talk. How's it going, darling? It's windy. Wavy. And we're just coming into a major port where there's a massive amount of warships because there's an APEC meeting. So, should be interesting. You gotta check this out, this is crazy. There are so many warships in here for the state bag meeting. I've got New Zealand, Australia, the US, all in this one little screen. Pretty sure there's more, but that's what all, that's all I got. Papua New Guinea, the most dangerous city in the planet, except for today. It's APEC, and they basically removed everyone from all the streets. It's crazy, there's no one left. Where's that guy? There's one dude, there's a lot of people in uniform, and other than that, there's not many people. Um, but they're winding down. See, there's buses of, there's buses of police, armored vehicles, there's lots of premiers and presidents, and they've painted beautiful murals. It'll be interesting tomorrow, because it's over, and see what the streets are like then. I think it'll get interesting. A lot of different uniforms. I don't really know what they'll do, but uh, yeah, they've cleared out the city of the riffraft. Okay, what's going on? Well, there's a police car coming out this way. I wonder what that's all. Just got back to the boat from doing a beer run. I have about four cases of beer. I think that's pretty good. But um, Ashley's just getting groceries and then we're gonna get diesel really quick. What's going on is APEC, the APEC meeting is over and the police have stormed the parliament buildings. Um, they're pretty corrupt here, so um, the actual police are demanding extra money from the government. Um, so we're gonna make haste and get out of here pretty quick. Um, it's not one of those situations where we want to be in. Anyways, we're gonna get some diesel, some food, and then we're out. It's probably fine, but it could flare out of control. It's probably fine. 